24H world, the president of Ukraine suddenly appeared on Russian television. On January 25, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky made a surprise appearance on Russian television, disrupting programs, according to RT station. Television viewers in the Belgorod province and in the Crimean Peninsula reported that the program was interrupted due to the unexpected insertion of a speech by Mr. Zelensky in Ukrainian. Mr. Zelensky's speech lasted for about a minute and then the programs continued as usual. Crimean officials attributed the incident to a hacker attack and that behind this team were the Ukrainian intelligence agencies, and asserted that this was a joke of these agencies. Belgorod authorities did not accuse anyone of causing the incident, and announced that an investigation into the incident had been launched. Knife attack on train in Germany leaves nine dead. The attack happened in the state of Schleswig-Holstein, which borders Denmark, on a train traveling from Kiel to Hamburg at 3 p.m., local time, on January 25. Police arrested the suspect, a 33-year-old man, at a small train station in the town of Brockstedt. The person was taken to the hospital for treatment of his injuries. According to DW, out of the seven injured victims, three were seriously injured, and four others were slightly injured. The French army announced it would withdraw its troops from Burkina Faso. France will withdraw its troops from Burkina Faso next month, after Burkina Faso's military junta asked them to leave, the French Foreign Ministry said on January 25. With this move, France will further reduce its presence in West Africa, a region facing a growing resurgence of Islamist forces. Spain arrests suspect in connection with series of letter bombs. On January 25, Spanish police arrested a person believed to be related to a series of letter bombs sent to the office of Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and the Ukrainian embassy in Madrid. The Czech Republic extends border control with Slovakia until the end of February 4. The Czech government on January 25 decided to extend border control with neighboring Slovakia by 10 days, until the end of February 4. However, the control will be loosened and the police at the border will only conduct random checks of vehicles entering the Czech Republic from Slovakia. The US has agreed to provide more than 30 state-of-the-art Abrams tanks to Ukraine. On January 25, the U.S. announced it would deliver 31 advanced M1 Abrams tanks over the next few months to Ukraine, a decision that is expected to help break a diplomatic stalemate with Germany over how best to support the military. The for Kiev Ukraine admits to withdrawing troops from Soldar. On January 25, Ukraine officially admitted that it had withdrawn its troops from the eastern town of Soldar after a bloody month-long war. However, Ukrainian military spokesman Sergei Cherovati did not specify when. After months of hard fighting, the Ukrainian armed forces have left Soldar to retreat to pre-prepared positions on the outskirts of town, said Ukrainian military spokesman Sergei Cherovati. Cargo ship capsized off the coast of Japan, two confirmed dead, nine missing. Continuing to update information about the capsized cargo ship in the East China Sea off the coast of Nagasaki Prefecture, Japan, on the evening of January 25, Kyoto News Agency said that two crew members were killed and nine people are still missing. Accumulate According to the Japan Coast Guard, those killed were among 13 people who had been rescued earlier. The Hinton ship sent out a distress signal at about 23.15 on January 24 when it was located about 110 kilometers west of the Danjo Islands. The ship was carrying 22 crew members including 14 Chinese and 8 Burmese. Philippine military plane crashes, two pilots killed. Two Filipino pilots were killed after a Philippine Air Force plane crashed during a training flight on January 25. Reuters reported that, 40 minutes after takeoff, the Philippine Air Force's SF 260 TP Marchetti was seen crashing into a rice field in Bataan Province, west of the capital Manila. The cause of the accident is currently under investigation. <laughs>